Hi, how are you? Hi, my name is Els Henschel. Hi, Els. Uh, today we're at the uh, airport in uh, Neuhausen op Eck. We will start with something easy. We have a stereo camera in the car for assistance systems. The cameras are very good in detecting and classifying objects. So we can, for example, see that uh, there's a pedestrian standing over there um, at the crosswalk. And uh, this lady, she just uh, wants to pass. And we get a warning here in the instrument cluster and in the head of display as well. But in this case, uh, she the didn't driver... move. No, she's not moving. But in this case, the driver has to stop because, of course, she's not in the danger area. Oh, okay. Um, we have a lot of pedestrians um, set up here, but it's a bit windy. And uh, of course, they're just dummies. So sometimes they. <laughs> get blown away by the wind today. <laughs> They're so, not big enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see if um, he's gonna stand, otherwise we'll just uh, do another maneuver first. Oh, I see all the way down there. Yeah. He's uh, trying to set it up. Yeah. Let's see if he... So and this will be the demonstration for like complete stop or are you gonna maneuver out of the yeah, first situation? First we'll do the complete stop, only if he flips over we'll do the invasive maneuver. Okay. <laughs> So normally I would uh, show active brake assist. So all these systems have to be turned on or are they always on in They're the car? They're standard on in the car. They're always on? Normally. Yeah, you can switch it off, but normally it's on. Yeah. There's so no reason to turn it off, really, yes, right? really. Um, I'm going to uh, be the uh, inattentive driver. I'm going to be with my foot on the gas pedal and ignore everything the car tells me to do. I will drive typical city speeds between 50 and 60 kilometers an hour. The car will warn me. And do partial and then fully autonomous. And that was braking. all car. You all didn't... the car. I didn't do anything. Wow. So that saved the, this yeah. guy. He's still smiling. <laughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> A bit. <laughs> At least. Yeah. Doesn't only work on um, pedestrians uh, yeah. standing in front of the vehicle. Also works on on small children or. Um, what about animals? Like some animals, yes, but not it all. It has to be of the size. Yes. I guess you, the, the system and has to to have a good target. I guess. Because it's so windy today, we brought our um, small child over there. Okay. And, and do you yeah. see it? It's, it's very yeah. little. And um, we'll see what happens if the child uh, runs in front of the car. So typical city speeds again, 50 kilometers an hour. I will be the inattentive driver. I'll just look at you maybe. Yeah, we can be talking about anything yeah. else, get distracted with something, and then he starts moving. Okay. Oh! Wow. But the car detects even a small child. And also it like and pretends the seat belt, mm -hmm. like all that. Mm -hmm. Wow. That as well. And does the system work at certain speeds or it's like a limit or? Yeah, of course it's limited. limited. Um, but like this is more like intended for urban yes, uh, situations, urban situations, right? And you saw, okay, this was 50. The other maneuver I did at 60 kilometers an hour. Yeah. So uh, normal city speeds, you're fine. And what would, ha what would happen if you have that Distronic Plus uh, enabled there? Will the car would do something else or no, like the same reaction? It's the same reaction. I drove the cal uh, child with Distronic uh, activated. Oh, it was okay. okay. Because I have to uh, hit the speed correctly. Okay. Uh, otherwise, the child doesn't come out. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's like this is synchronized. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, over there. But in real life, I mean, you like the, 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 the child will like move like whenever he wants. Yeah, but it's it's still fine. Yeah. Um, so the next maneuver will be evasive steering assist. Um, very important. The driver initiates uh, the maneuver. So in able uh, in order to show you, I'll just uh, uh, pull on the steering wheel a bit and take my hands off the steering wheel, okay. so you can see the steering wheel uh, help me go around the pedestrian. Normally, uh, of course. It is a play between the driver and the system, so only together it, it looks perfectly. But I will take it away and you will see the steering wheel move a bit. Move on its own, okay. On its own. So same speed again, this time by foot, between 50 and 60 kilometers an hour. Warning, and you see the steering wheel turn. Oh, okay. And that's that's based on your instinct and reaction, yes. instinctive reaction. Mm -hmm. Like, so what about if it was in common traffic? Uh, I, we wouldn't brake in this case. Um, oh, okay, it will just like brake completely. No, the driver is responsible. I initiated the evasive maneuver, so I have to check if it's. Fine. Oh, okay. Those situations uh, today are still too complex. We yeah. cannot manage them. 
the camera can do a lot of more, not only see the pedestrians, uh, we can also see um, that we're entering the highway in the wrong direction. Oh, okay, so it reads mm -hmm. the signs? Yes, reads the signs as well, and if we cross them, I get a warning, oh, okay. please check the direction of travel, and uh, it's also shown in the head-up display here. So. Obviously, it cannot stop you, and, and but it no. gives you the warning. It also does it with the speed limit. I noticed mm -hmm. it when we were driving yes. up, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, correctly. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have to react yourself and turn around, but um, it's very prominent in the instrument cluster. So when they talk about uh, the autonomous driving levels, mm -hmm. they talk about five, right? Yes. And we are in number two. We are still level two. Level yes. two. Three is like a very gray area, right? Like yes. you don't know when the car is going to take over and mm -hmm. you have to take over. So this is still considered two? This is definitely two. Okay. two. okay. And then four will be like the car, for example, in that case of the entering yeah. the, the highway in the wrong situation, the car will stop? In yeah, theory, in three, theory, you get a bit more um, you interaction can, from the car. Yeah, you, you're allowed to do a bit more than in level three. Okay. And uh, level five will be fully autonomous. Then. Yeah, that out, out of mind, yeah. out of sight, or everything. And then the car needs to manage every situation. Yeah. Uh, also, situations that are today very complex. Yeah. Wow. So the next maneuver will be actually uh, complex as well. So it'll be the pink car that is going to come yeah, across Yeah, it's going to come across. And that's a like remote control? Yeah, As that's why we have the large GPS antenna on the roof. Oh, I see. Um, because it measures our speed and then uh, adjusts um, and comes out to the correct timing. So going back again mm -hmm. to the theory of uh, level 5 of autonomous mm -hmm. driving, that that's not going to have to be a lot to do a lot with the uh, infrastructure, right? As Cities, well, yeah. As well, uh, like smart like traffic lights and. You need uh, good digital maps. Yeah. For example, so that would be infrastructure as well, and, um, and we have uh, car to car to X communication yeah. and other cars telling uh, sending information to our car, uh, which we have today, but it's going to be. Uh, you're gonna have a lot more communication between cars and infrastructure, of course. Start position. Hmm. So, um, I'm gonna be the inattentive driver again, typical city speed. This is gonna be our lane. Oh, it's moving now. Yeah. You're gonna tell me we're gonna hit it? Can we? Of course not. We're gonna hit it? Wow. <laughs> It's close, huh? In this situation, we have an open field, but what about if there was a building there? It would, uh, we need a, a bit of a, a track to see the car, but um, it doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. We just need a, a, a bit of a track for the car to get to speed. And, and uh, they were telling the, us in the, airport, the virtual yes. reality uh, testing that we mm -hmm. did, they were telling us that the system, the radars, everything mm -hmm. still calculating every millisecond pretty yes. much the speed of the car and all, and all that so it can avoid it too right okay yes let's see what happens if we take the other lane okay what do you mean like uh switch lanes when you yeah we're gonna take about the to... right lane this time. Oh, okay okay Hold on. start position and you're gonna tell me if we're gonna hit or not okay <laughs> <laughs> I think you know the answer. <laughs> I know the answer, but do you know it as well? Well, yes, the question. I think I do. Yes? Let's see. I kind of promise you it's going to be close, okay? That was like inches. Yes. So in that case, the car calculated that the other car was moving fast enough yes, and fast. depending on our speed to go by, even mm -hmm. though it was like that close. Yes. So in that situation, I mean, that, that brings uh, the human aspect of like the instinct. Mm -hmm. Because in most accidents, like people react differently what that, that would the machine would do, right? Yes. Like in that case, probably... Most, um, yeah, you, you get a warning and you break. You uh, break, yeah. But, the car still helps you and applies the brakes as necessary. I bet there's like a learning curve to trust the systems because again it was that close that you will mm -hmm. think that 
maybe I have to do something, but if the car can do it, you should let the car do it. Uh, no, of course not. <laughs> no? We d no, we don't. No, n normal drivers uh, on the street, we don't want to train them to trust the car like this. Oh, okay. It's not that close. Um, I mean, we as uh, test drivers, uh, we practice it uh, not to react and, and let the car do yeah, what it Yeah, probably if do. I were in, in the seat, I would have reacted probably, yes, right? Yeah, uh, and it's good. Yeah. In all situations. So uh, we changed the scenario. Okay. And we're now on the highway. It's a three lane road. You can see there's a traffic jam. Uh, yeah. So we're going to drive typical highway speeds up to 100 kilometers an hour. And you see there's no way to go either left or right. Yeah. So we get a warning, partial braking and hard braking. Wow. And we come to a complete stop. And again, no human intervention there. No. My foot's still on the gas pedal and I didn't react to all the warning signs the car gave me in advance. Wow. And that was pretty short distance. Yes. When's the distance in which the car starts giving the warning and like noticing that you're not reacting and then yeah it depends on the speed oh um, and, um, yeah. like here i think um, maybe it's about uh, 100 meters 100 meters okay but when you're going 100 kilometers yes. an hour that's like feels like really mm -hmm. short if you like we can do it once more sure okay of course i can also apply the brakes and we'll still come to a stop it doesn't really matter yeah. so if i apply the brakes too, too little um the car will do the rest by itself Oh, like you, you start braking, then you... And then I lift the brakes and we'll still come to a stop. Okay. So still the work. car reacts in an in instant. And, and like. it interacts with the driver Yeah. as well. So that's why it's not autonomous. No. Okay. That's <laughs> no, great. Well, it, it's a, a part of this is, of course, autonomous because... I, yeah, of course, yeah, but it's not completely, yeah. Cars, on the gas pedal, the, the car decides, okay, we need to apply the brakes, and it does that by itself. Wow. But it only does it if a, a crash is unavoidable. And it still does uh, does it in a way other drive other vehicles um, have a chance to react as well. Yeah. And does does it have any kind of sensor for cars behind you that yes. maybe in that kind of situation yes. they will hit you? Um, at, well, at least a warning. You cannot do anything at yes, that point. If there's somebody coming from behind, we also warn the driver uh, from behind. It, like if we're standing like this. Yeah. Uh, we're standing still behind the car and we see uh, a car with large speed coming from, from the back. We also apply the brake, uh, the, uh, the flashing brake lights to warn oh, the so other to, driver okay, that to we're standing. To get their attention, yeah. Yes. Okay. And then uh, we uh, fasten seat belts and uh, yeah. position the, the driver. In that, the that I, I mean, I noticed it here, mm -hmm. but actually I have a friend who was in a, when it was still the ML, like two, three years ago. She was in a pretty bad accident, mm -hmm. but she told me that she felt like in a couple of seconds that all the system saved her life mm -hmm. because she felt the seat uh, the, the seat belt tightening and like everything coming up she saw the airbags coming out and like and she felt like all the systems were like really working so i mean you don't want to go to that experience <laughs> but no if it happens it's better to yes. know that it's there mm -hmm. wow that's pretty impressive so um yeah that's what we wanted to show you here on the um the, Great. the airport Okay, well, thank you very much. You're it welcome. was pretty impressive, so.